Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a few of my new eye brushes that I have bought. Um, I've got a few singles plus one kit. So the reason I bought these are because all my makeup brushes that I've got were bought years and years and years ago um, before I really sort of started sort of worrying about blending before I really knew about blending and um, it was way before my YouTube channel so they are years and years old and I decided that I'm wanting to sort of try and develop my makeup skills a little bit more try some more adventurous um, looks and have the right tools for the job really and um, I have got a really good um, set that I bought years ago on eBay and to be honest it didn't cost very much at all and they've lasted really well and they've washed really well but I just wanted to get um, a good sort of selection of brushes to use and um, yeah and see where we go from there and see if it improves my blending and placement and things like that. So I've got a few singles um, here and I've got a kit as I said here and yes so they're all eye makeup brushes. So just starting off with first of all um, so the first two I've got here, these are both the same and these are um, Spectrum A08 brush and um, let me just get some details up about this. Now I got these from Birch Box, and I had some £5 vouchers to use up and they came in at under £5 each. They're currently on sale on the Spectrum website, um, I'll post all the links down below. Um, currently on sale for £3.49 on um, Spectrum and in Birch box, they're four ninety nine, so they are a bit cheaper on the Spectrum website. Um, so about this brush, so Spectrum have said, so the A O eight is um, so it's a medium fluffy shader, and it's an all rounder used to apply and sweep powder, pigments, or cream eyeshadow across the lid. A medium sized head means you can easily apply product to the whole eye area or build shade in the outer corners whilst keeping a beautifully blended finish. So the A, oh I didn't know this. So the A, when it's like A08, the A actually stands for application. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Um, so all brushes are made for synthetic hair. They are vegan registered and cruelty free. Um, so let's have a little look at this. So as you can see, they're still in here. I've not opened them up at all. Um, and now I can start to use them. <laughs> so as I say, I, I got these using some um, credits, some um, codes that I've been sent through from Birchbox. So as you can see here, it's got the um, spectrum on the um, barrel of the brush on the handle along with the brush type, which is A08 and it is a really nice fluffy brush um, the bristles are really soft and it's actually quite a large brush i have quite small eyes but i suppose for putting on all your color maybe for your base color as well it'd be really really useful um, and yeah i've had a few spectrum brushes and i absolutely love them so i'm really excited so yes i've got two of those which are the same now then, the next brush I've got is another Spectrum brush and this one is a Spectrum and it's a B04, B04. Now this one is um, also on the Birchbox website. Gosh, it's only £2.40 now, so that's a really good buy. I will post all the links as I say. So at £2.40, it was up at £5.99 um, and it just says, this is a staple in anyone's collection um, used to sort of um, make blending really, really easy. Soft angle means it can be um, blended into outer corners and the crease. Um, I'm looking on the Spectrum website. And again, I'm learning a lot today. So the B on these brushes stands for buffing and blending. Um, so it says, yeah, use the soft angle of the brush um, to add shading to the outer corners and the colour fades in the crease. So this is meant to be on the outer third of your eye. Um, again, this is a really, really nice one there. This black brush is part of, I saw it on the website, so this is part of the Marvelous Black range. And it's just the normal really, really soft bristles. And as you can see there, it is on an angle. And I suppose that'll be there to make blending 
really really easy and then um, so yes there we go that's such a good buy at £2.40 wow I can I go get another couple of those um in my I think I got this from an L advent calendar and um, this is a beauty pie um and it is the beauty pie pro contour eyeshadow brush and it says um Use the flat face of the brush to sweep a neutral base colour all over the eyelid. Then turn the brush on its side and apply a deeper shade to the crease and um, using a back and forth motion. Um, now, I couldn't see this one on the Beauty Pie website. However, um, sort of similar size brushes on the website there it seems to retail between three and four pounds if you're a beauty pie member and they work by um by having a membership you get a you cost a lot cheaper otherwise i think they sell them singly for about 20 pounds which seems an awful lot for one brush let me just get into it so this is the beauty pie brush so it's got the beauty pie on the um handle and then it says there eyeshadow contour just in case you didn't know this it feels quite light um very sturdy and actually i didn't realize i thought it was just an angled brush but if you see there it's angled but it's got a really i don't know if you can tell a really flat end there um so you can see i'm just trying to get you to see it's got a it's the most peculiar brush. I've never seen a brush like this before. So I suppose that you'd pick your colour up on this flat edge. And then um, let's just see what it feels like. It is really soft and it's very dense actually. I'll be interested to try this because I've never ever seen a brush like this before. It's not what I thought it was in the packet. So yeah, I'm um, interested to try that one. Now onto this so i bought this for myself and um, i bought it at christmas and this is um from beauty bay and it is um beauty bay's own brand and it is the i wonder 12 piece eye brush set with a brush roll now i'm just gonna bob on their website because they've got lots of information about this so it says so this retails for 23 pounds and it says a set of 12 lilac and black eye brushes with a matching brush roll pat buff and blend your way to flawless eye looks with the eye wonder 12 piece eye brush set made with a durable lilac wooden handles black ferrules and super soft easy clean bristles that mimic the feel of natural hair these antibacterial brushes slot into the matching brush roll to keep them secure and protect wherever you go they're cruelty free they are vegan fsc accreditation and there's a money back guarantee um so this is how it comes so in this really really lovely pouch and um, it's black with a purple trim and it is magnetic closing and <gasps> there we are so it's got um little designs of like diamonds and lips and is that flames so it feels like a vinyl type thing they're all inside little clean plastic sleeves and stored beautifully um so i'm going to start from here work my way across it does say on the website a little bit about them i'm going to do the split screen so you can read for yourself and it also does tell us what each brush is for, which is really, really handy for, uh, like, I am like a makeup novice, really. So it's really handy that I know what each brush is specifically for. Um, so let's get out the first brush. And this one is, oh, it's a nice big fluffy one. And this one says full colour. And it is a really big, big brush. They feel lovely and soft. This one's quite dense. So full color it is um used to blend eyeshadow onto the eyelid as desired so this one is just to put all on the lid and yes it's a nice big fat brush so i can see it doing a good job there so now we have the multitasking brush and this one is it's a flat brush with a slight tapering on the edges and it says 
Use to precisely apply concealer or to apply and blend eyeshadow to a seamless finish. So I suppose that'd be good to do a cut crease with. Um, it's nice and flat, it's firm. And um, yeah, the, the bristles are sort of nicely sort of packed together. Next brush we've got is um, I Spy. I like that they're all on here. These are really pointy. You'll have someone's eye out with those. Um, so yeah, I Spy. And this is a sort of a fuller brush. Still quite dense. And for this it says, use to pat and pack eyeshadow onto the eyelids. So yeah, I can see that would be really good. I'll just pop my glasses off. So as you can see, it is a good size um, brush. And then, um, yeah. There we are. Next brush is um, the Short List. So again, this is another flat style brush. It looks like it's above for packing more colour on as well. Um, so the Short List says, use to apply and blend eyeshadow all over the eyelid. So maybe I do know more about brushes than what I thought. I'm not doing too bad at guessing so far. Next one is um, Hey Shorty. Again, this looks like another packing style brush. And this one says, use to pat eyeshadow onto the eyelids. There we are. So we've got a few sort of different sizes. As you can see, those ones, this sort of different to each other because this is a lot narrower. Oh, this next one looks a nice fluffy brush. And this is round the blend and as you can see there it's quite a long um long bristles um and nice and fluffy at the end and this one says um pack color all over the eyelids and blend using circular motions so that would be good just to as it says you could just sort of blend out feels lovely i can't wait to use these um I'll maybe use them in another video just so we can sort of see how I get on. Next, we've got, it looks like another blending brush. And this one is, oh, HG Crease. HG, that's strange, I don't know what that means. Um, and so, yeah, and a bit longer bristles. Um, again, nice and soft, not... They're not as dense as the other ones because these are obviously for, for blending more. Um, and this one says, use to apply and blend eyeshadow into the eye crease. So again, it would just fit really nice. I should have worn my contacts for this video, but you know me, I'm never fully prepared. Next brush we have is, um, it says, sketch it out. So this is a bit more of a pointed brush pretty dense and it's it, yeah it's sort of tapered up into a point use to softly blend and shade pressed powder or loose pigment eyeshadow along the lash line oh so that's really good i've not got one like this at all so i'm able to use that on my lower lash line or even along your upper one would you um i'm not sure but i'll have a little play about with that so it's a different style brush to what i've ever had before Next one looks like a smaller version of the last one. And this one says, strike out. And there it is there. So you can see it's a much smaller, sort of fine detailed brush. And it says, dip brush into chosen eyeliner and trace along the upper lash line as desired. Oh, so that's interesting. So I'll be able to get a few, I can say use it for a few more looks to what I've ever had before. Next one, oh, this is a really fine one. Is this an eyeliner brush? All in the deets. Um, there we go, there. And it's got a protective cover on and it is just a really fine tipped brush. It says dip into gel, liquid or cream eyeliner and glide along the lash line. So I'm gonna pop the little protective cover back on that. So, um, I think I've got a gel eyeliner somewhere. Um, so yeah, that'll be useful. Two more to go. 
So here we go. This is on fleek. And it's, uh, oh gosh, is this, this is a weird one. So this is absolutely solid. Um, and I wonder if it's used to stamp on, is it for your brows maybe? Um, dish, um, dip brush into chosen product, then apply to the eyebrows using gentle sweeping motions. Now I know when I've seen all these tutorials and they say to use a stiff brush if you're um, using like a pomade for your um, eyebrows because this is honestly, it's rock hard. The edges are really, are really soft but the actual brush is rigid. So that'll be a good one to try. I am going to start trying to do my um, brows and everything else, be a bit more pro but um. I'm just not, I'm like a bit of an average Joe, really. And finally, my last one is called Take a Brow. And this one has got a spoolie on one side, then a little angled stiff brush on the other. And it says, um, use the bristled end to shape and evenly distribute strands and then use the angled flat end to apply and blend eyeshad um, eyebrow products so yeah just as we thought it's just like a little spoolie for your brows and then again you can just do your product there so that is that so there they all are you can see i'm just gonna let you see them there about the different sizes compared to each other and i think for 23 pounds that's a really nice little set and I think it's probably every sort of um, eyeshadow brush that you'd actually really need. Um, I am really happy to have these other brushes as well um, because you can never have enough eye brushes because if you're like me you're just like really bad at cleaning them. I'm like oh. so yeah I can go longer between cleaning them out but um, so those are the other ones and then there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful and that you've seen some brushes that you might sort of like to purchase yourself or um, that you might sort of tune back to see how I get on using them. Um, I will do some videos of me trying them out and I'm trying, thinking about trying, you know, doing some videos of me doing some eyeshadow looks and things. I'm not very confident at doing them yet and um, but I do want to share with you and learn together and if you've got any tips and things you can let me know um, my next video that I'm planning to do will be my Morphe 25A Copper Spice palette so what I'll probably do is do some swatches from that video and maybe do an eye look as well using these brushes so we can try the brushes out see what it's like and um, yeah get a bit more of an idea about how they perform so thank you so much for joining me and um, have a great weekend whatever you do take care and see you all again very soon bye guys <laughs>